Hey, what's up guys? This is Steven from TechSteveHD.com. In this video, I finally got my hands on a Galaxy S7 from my friends over at AT&T.com. Now, I'm going to do a series of videos exclusively for the Galaxy S7, and a lot of the other Galaxies will work with some of these things I'm going to show you, but again, I want to make a whole series of Galaxy S7 tips and tricks. This first video, I'm going to do just a basic unboxing, show you what's inside. Additional to that, I'm going to show you all the setup steps with setting it up on the AT&T network. So without further ado, Galaxy S7 unboxing, let's get started. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the box. All right, here you get a quick starter guide. And there's the phone right there. I'll show you a little bit of that later in another video. Side of here. SIM card remover and then you get like a health and warning guide and some brochures for smart limits. Now inside of the box here you get some headphones Now they look almost like purple but there's your headphones right there and it comes with a couple of extra ear uh, inserts, which are good. You get your uh, high-speed charger. Now this is adaptive, so I'm not sure exactly what that means, but uh, I would assume that it's backwards compatible with some other models. Uh, we can look that up later. You get a USB cable. And this is a new adapter that comes with it. It's like, like transferring information. It's kind of like an OTG adapter. So you'll be able to take the phone, plug this in. Like that. And then use a USB cable from, I do believe, Apple or Android and plug that in. Okay guys, now we're on the welcome screen. Here you want to choose whatever language you want. Hit start. Now you want to look for a Wi-Fi that's available or open if you have Wi-Fi available, but if not, you can just use the AT&T network by hitting next. Now this is if you want to diagnose your data, so it'll send uh, emails over to like uh, uh, Samsung to let them know what's going on with your phone, but that's up to you. Hit next and agree. Now if you actually use your Gmail account on a phone before, they have a new security, so you'll have to actually go into Google's account that you previously seeked on the device just to make sure that it's okay. So let me go do that on my computer. Be right back. If you get a pop-up on your phone and it won't allow you to log into your Gmail account, you need to go to this website from your mobile device or to a, from a computer. It's uh, https colon forward slash forward slash myaccount.google.com. You want to go over to device activity and notifications. And then you want to click on review devices. This will give you a list of all the devices that's connected to your Gmail account. Then you can go up here to the top and click on learn more. You get this pop up and then go over to then go over to remove devices access. When you click on that, you'll need to sign in your Gmail account, but whenever you click on these different devices, you'll have a remove button here, and that'll take it off your account. It's right there. That way you don't have a old phone in limbo, plus it removes it from your uh, account as far as uh, security reasons. Now once you get your Gmail account in, you're going to get this where you can automatically back up your device help uh, finding location, improving location. So you can leave those checked or that's up to you. Hit next. 
Okay, do you want to add another email account? Hit not now. Next. Now, do you want to set up the fingerprint? So yes, I'm going to show you how to set that up. Now, you're going to have to set up a uh, pattern, a pen, or a password whenever you use your fingerprint as a backup. So I'll just put in pen. And I'm just going to put in one, two, three, four. Continue. One, two, three, four. Okay. So now it wants me to uh, set the pin number up, I mean the uh, fingerprint up. Not again. Success. Now in this part, do you want your lock screen to show your content, hide your content, or turn off all notifications? Just because we're doing demo, I won't have any notification. Hit done. Now protect your phone. It's just now finishing up uh, the applications. Now the cool thing is that it actually seen that I used this device a day ago on that same email account. I had 68 applications. And this is a list of all the applications I had. So if you actually want to uh, uncheck those, you can but I'm gonna uncheck all of them so what that's gonna do is when you log into your phone it's gonna start downloading all those apps okay the next step is asking me to create a Samsung account or uh, so you can actually get the Galaxy apps it'll back up your S Health, find your phone the music player through milk and Samsung pay so you need to create the account there but for demo purposes I'm gonna skip that now this part is if you use the little adapter that came with it you can then move your information from one device over to it. I'll show you that in another video. If you don't want to do that just drag your finger down until you get later. And do you want easy mode? Basically this makes really large icons so it's easier for uh, people with uh, bad vision to be able to see. And I'm going to leave that off and hit finish. If you drag this down, see it's still restoring some of the applications that are factory. Uh, one thing on AT&T is asking you to download the remote control for uh, DirecTV and uh, you still have the features on there. Before I end this video, I just want to show you another quick trick. If you drag one figure down, you basically can get uh, some of the icons like Wi-Fi location. But if you drag two fingers down, then you can see pretty much all the settings there. So this is going to be a series of videos just for the Galaxy S7. Now this first one is just an introductory, show you what's in the box and show you how to set it up. But I, again, I have a whole series of videos coming out from it. A full review including a detailed video for the camera and more. So like out my videos, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.